Hello, this is Steve Powers. Today I'm going to continue with the Blender video sequence editor. Uh, I'm going to show you how to rotate a video. Um, uh, quite often it does happen when you're uh, using a point and click uh, camera to uh, turn the video thinking you're going to get a portrait view instead of a widescreen view. And instead of changing the aspect ratio, you actually just um, rotated uh, the video. So when you go to view it um, on your computer or on TV, it's going to uh, be sideways. Um, I have a, a little video, um, a 66 frame video that um, has just that. Uh, luckily, uh, we caught ourselves and uh, videotaped it appropriately. Okay, so first off, let's uh, look at the video that we're going to use. Um, this is uh, called the uh, Sideways Christmas Tree. And um, let's bring this up. It's just a short little mauve. And uh, probably going to bring it up in. Yep, there we go. Quick time. Look at that. Let me catch ourselves. So, what we do want to do um, also is to look at this and um, find out the. Uh, I'm using Media Info to find out um, the aspect ratio, which is the width and height is 640 by 480, and it's 30 frames per second. This is what we are going to need to uh, know for uh, Blender. So we want to input those uh, first before we um, add the video. We want to render it at 100 and make sure it is 30 frames. Okay, and let's pull this in here. Add movie. Bring that in. Now what we have to do here is uh, Blender will always throw it wherever it wants to. So I use the B key and um, it creates a bounding box. Um, excuse me, a bounding box. And then I use the G key to grab it and pull it over to frame one. Now um, we're at 66 frames here. Um, we don't need the audio. Oops. Remember in Blender it's a right click, not left click. Um, so we, we can delete this by hitting the X key and say OK. And um, let's uh, bring this down to only 66 frames so it doesn't render anything more than that. OK, now scroll in here and you can see how um, we have our video 640 by 480, but it's sideways. So we need to add a transformation. Um, which is an effect strip. And you can see all the different ones in this case. Transform does quite a bit actually. That's where you would crop it, um, you will scale it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rotate it and then scale it. Rotation here is a uh, neg 90. And you can see it automatically clips the top and the bottom. But it also leaves um, black marks to the, uh, both sides. That is why we're going to have to go into scale hit the uniform scale, hold down the uh, left uh, uh, mouse button and drag it until it fills up the uh, whole frame and um, there we go. Um, it really is that simple but you can see that it will cut off some. Um, to save this out we want to make sure um, we're going to run this out as a let's go uh, 264 doesn't really matter encoding in this case we're going to Keep expanding these boxes, and we'll we'll go 500. It's it's I think set for 6,000, which are, I would say is overkill. We have no audio, so we don't have to set that. And then scroll up to the top here, and hit animation. Make sure you have new window. It's I like it better that way. I mean you can keep it. Um, that is not the default. You can see how um, with 66 frames at this resolution, even at 100%, it's I, I just did that in real time. Um, and you can, um, this is actually going to my C drive into temps and you can see where it is and it is right there. Nothing great, it's a low resolution um, not a lot of lighting on it so it's uh, quite grainy uh, but I did fix um, the rotation. Now if I want to keep um, the whole picture I can't do that in Blender but we do have another uh, free application uh, that we can do this in. Um, let's uh, bring it up. It's 
AVI DMUX. I'm using Launchy, by the way. This is a great little program by itself. Um, whoops. Okay, let's pull up the video again. And we'll go to full frame on this. And let's split the, uh, let's see the input and the output. Okay, right now, you can see how it's the same. Well, since um, we don't care about the audio, we can leave it as uh, such, or um, just leave it as copy, it doesn't really matter. I want to keep the whole thing. Uh, let's change this to an MPEG-4 AVC. You do have to pick um, a video um, uh, file. Uh, otherwise you won't be able to uh, add any kind of filters in which we need to and it's going to be guess what a rotate filter now this is going to be in 90 degrees and if you're not sure what you do is you hit the preview button there you go and you can see the whole picture now you can see him uh, squirming a little bit and um, I guess in uh, Blender you could have um, cropped it a little bit but I think e even still at that resolution you'd have lost any of that hand mo movement you know him fiddling and stuff and that's usually what is uh, cute about kids doing things like that so anyways here you can see now this is what we started with and this is what we're going to uh, end up with so now we're going to save video um, let's call this uh, rotate uh, rotate um, video and you do have to we're going to make it sure it's an AVI so it's a, a the file type is otherwise we'll just show you all file types if you don't put the dot AVI you it, it'll render it out but you're going to have to add it before any player will actually play it so just hit save and it's done that fast so hit OK there and oops let's go back to here and watch the whole of the future hide these close that let's play it again there you go rotate video and it's only a couple frames so it's not really going to do too much you know pause it there it is right in the middle okay so uh, hopefully uh, this helps um, you can see um, how you can uh, rotate uh, with both uh, uh, two free uh, programs that actually work both on um, Windows and in Linux. I'm showing you how to do this in Windows. Matter of fact, the, the player is VLC Player, which also plays on Linux. So, uh, this actually turned out to be a cross-platform um, tutorial on how to rotate video. Well, you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.